guys welcome back to my video so today's makeup look was inspired by this necklace that i'm going to post a picture here from her style plus and if you guys do not know what her style plus is that is my own company um it's a plus size clothing store that i do own and i decided i want to go ahead and do another inspiration um video for you guys and i saw this necklace that was part of our statement piece collection and I thought what a gorgeous necklace and um, it will make for a gorgeous look. And I had this silver eyeshadow sitting here for a while and I thought the two would have went really well together. So if you guys want to know more information about Her Style Plus, you can click the link down below that go takes you to the actual store. Or you can go back into one of my previous videos where I talked about Her Style Plus when it first opened. But we do have shoes, accessories, and clothes, and sunglasses, and we now we carry two new handbags. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we have, just click that link in my description box that I post for all my videos for Her Style Plus. So if you want to check out my website just to check it out, you can go ahead and click the link down below and um, go ahead and check that out. This tutorial was kind of a talk through slash not talk through depending on how the sound came out because I said in the video I live by a freaking street that is constantly busy because there's like three different sets of apartments over here. So um, there's cars going in and out. So sometimes I was talking. And if I was talking and I can hear a car, I would probably cut the sound out. So I'm sorry guys, but I'm really trying to talk through for you guys so you can understand what I'm actually doing in my tutorials because I get questions on, oh, why did I do this? Why am I using this certain product? And it's because I can't do talk throughs because either Zoe is here and she's talking while I'm trying to do my makeup and it's a lot of commotion or because of the crazy street people outside that will not stop driving by. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so this video I'm going to try to kind of talk just a little bit because I want to start doing a little bit of when I talk in my videos to you guys. It's kind of hard to do a complete talk through video because I live next to a street which for some reason is not a busy street but it's always busy. It's not like a highway or anything. So there's always cars constantly running through like right there so I'll just kind of talk about the important parts in my videos and you know I'll stop and do that but anytime it's something simple you'll just see a title so my brows are always already done I do have a updated brow tutorial if you guys want to see a new brow tutorial um, I will do one for you guys you just need to let me know so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is prime my eyelids with the Sephora um, primer and I'm kind of obsessed with this primer right now so I'm just gonna use a synthetic flat eyeshadow brush and go ahead and apply that primer to my lid <laughs> Warm neutral eyeshadow palette I'm going to take this brown shade here that is closest to my skin color if you have an eyeshadow or foundation that is closer to your skin color you can use that for this step and I'm just going to place that into the crease and kind of close to the highlight for my eyebrow and this will be a nice transition color to help go with all your other colors so now I'm using Ulta large eyeshadow brush to apply this also to help cover up some of that concealer that I had going on there in my eyes and it helped cover and you know just bring an extra transition color so next we're going to go ahead and highlight our eyebrow bone and I'm going to go in that same palette and I'm going to take this little these two colors here and I'm just going to mix them together to just give me a nice little highlighted shade 
and I'm just going to take this um, bamboo like eyeshadow brush. I don't even know what it's where it's from. <laughs> Sephora red wine and pop that into my crease to give a more smoky effect for this eye look. I'm just going to use this is it cosmetics and this is their like fluffy brush. <laughs> So now I'm just going to take my own foundation powder and kind of blend it in here because I really don't like my eye to get really dark because I already have dark circles here. I'm just going to take this powder with the fluffy brushes, this MAC oh, 224 brush and I'm just going to blend it just in here to lighten it up a bit. <laughs> darken up the inner corner of my eye just a little bit more I don't like to use black so I'm just going to use this dark brown in the same palette and I'm just going to darken that outer corner of my eye I'm just going to use a large eyeshadow brush by um, it cosmetics <laughs> Now for my lid, I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal Eyeshadow. And this is supposed to be a 24 hour lasting shadow. And I'm going to use a um, flat foundation, a flat eyeshadow brush by It Cosmetics. <laughs> Like this but if you have a hooded little if you have a hooded lid like I do this will transfer so you want to set it so I decided to go ahead and set it with my Sephora and this is called starry sky eyeshadow and I'm just gonna place some lightly on top of this metal metal eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this little small stippling brush by elf <laughs> this MAC 224 brush and go ahead and blend this out so I won't have like a harsh crease here and up here. <laughs> just with the starry night by itself I'm just going to go in the outer corner and kind of just bring that in to make it look um, kind of faded into the eye. <laughs> into that it cosmetic fluffy brush I didn't add any more product and I'm just gonna blend all this out just to make sure everything is good I want to keep some of the um, silver 
showing. So I'm just gonna take some of the silver and go in the inner part right here. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and we're gonna move on to the face. to the face is add a little bit of liner in the inner corner because when I do my lashes I don't want that band to show so the liner I'm, so the liner I'm going to use is my Marc Jacobs black liner and I got this from Sephora it's a sample <laughs> to lashes the lashes I'm going to apply are my Dell lashes and this is the glamour 105 lashes I love them because they're really soft and they're not too drama because of this makeup look. so I'm just gonna place my um, L'Oreal mascara on my lashes and then I'm going to place my lashes on off camera <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for the face. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my Becca Ever Matte Primer. This primer is super awesome for people who have really oily skin like I do. My skin stay oily, so this primer helps control some of that oil, especially when I have makeup on. It is awesome. I just absolutely love this primer. <laughs> So before I do my foundation, um, I love to color correct sometimes when I have like really dark circles like today or if I have an acne spot or even like an acne, like just a little bump. And I use a little orangey yellow color depending on um, what I'm covering up. But most of the time I like to use my NARS Creamy Concealer and this is in like my shade. It is the closest shade to my skin color and this would be perfect for color correcting because you're making your skin all one color instead of like reflecting the color with like orange or yellow. So just place a little bit on the area and then you can just use your finger to blot it in and it'll be like you're not adding extra to your makeup. <laughs> And so already I already look a little bit more awake and alert. Um, so now I'm going to place my two foundations. You guys know I'm obsessed with both of these foundations. This is the Maybelline Poreless um, Fit Me, the matte one, and this is the Becca Ever Matte Foundation. Neither one of these brands have a shade that is exactly my shade, so I just go ahead and mix them. And because I love both of the formulas, but I can't wear neither one of them by themselves, I just go ahead and mix them together and I get a really good look. So I'm just going to apply my foundations with this large stippling brush by Elf. <laughs> So 
because I have concealer here and then I couldn't get under here with my large brush, with my large brush, I'm going to take my It Cosmetic Flat Foundation Brush, take some more foundation off my hand, and go into these small areas. <laughs> how light this concealer was because I haven't used it in a while so to help fight the lightness because you do not want your concealer this light this is a mistake that I made I'm going to just go back into my NARS and just apply some right under this concealer and just blend it out and it should be fine so it's still light so what you can do is go back with your foundation with your foundation brush and just kind of blend out the harsh lines So now I'm going to go ahead and set that highlight with my Maybelline Shine Free Powder. For contouring, I'm just going to go in and use my MAC Studio Sculpt and this is in the color NW55 and I'm just going to go ahead and use that to contour with. been sitting for a while I'm going to go ahead and dust off the excess <laughs> So now it's time for blush. Of course, guys, I'm going to go into my favorite go-to blush, and this is the MAC Raisin Blush. For highlight, I'm going to use ColourPop Wisp, and I'm going to place that on for all my highlighted areas. face with the elf makeup mist spray I don't know if I explained this to you guys why I use this spray and then another spray but this spray helps mold it helps blend all the makeup together instead of having like a powder look even though I didn't powder my whole face you can still look kind of cakey so this spray helps kind of like blend everything together and make everything kind of one and it takes away that powder ashy look I'm gonna go 
longer gonna see you.